All right, guys, we're gonna get started in just another minute here. Like I mentioned before, make sure you have water, make sure that you have plenty of room to move around and follow with the moves. You also wanna make sure you have a small, smaller ball, like a wiffle ball or a tennis ball or a golf ball. Um, also make sure you have some light weights such as water bottles, cans, dumbbells, um, anything like that. If you don't have that equipment, that's okay too. You'll just use uh, your strength. Um, so I wanna thank Mike and Sean from Rarefall Hockey Team for being with us tonight. I am going to turn it over to you. Excellent, thank you very much, Amelia. Appreciate it, and thank you, Sam. Um, I also just wanted to say a quick hello. We have our two uh, team captains, they're seniors, um, uh, joining us just to say a quick hello. We actually had a, our final hockey game uh, scheduled tonight, and unfortunately, we got canceled. So um, it was unfortunate, but we were able to get a good season in, 14 out of 15 games, and uh, you know we had a winning record to finish, so that was all good. But uh, Jason Ranmere is with us. If Jason, you can just wave. Hi, everyone. And then Alex Gatsonis is also has also joined us. And um, my son, Sean, will be will be demoing some of the uh, the workouts. So what we're going to do today and uh, it's great to be with you guys for a second workout. Thank you very much for having us. So we're going to do a bit of a, um, a circuit train for timing. Um, I'm going to have Sean start us off with some basic stretching to get you guys warmed up. And like Amelia said, hopefully you guys have uh, water bottles nearby. Um, please go at, at your pace. We'll probably do each exercise after we stretch for about 45 seconds. And I will describe it while Sean shows you how to do it. And then you guys will do the exercise straight for 45 seconds. And then we'll move on to the next exercise. So it should be a good full body workout for you guys. And uh, I guess we can look forward to get started. Sean, if you want to, uh, do some, some of the upper body, lower body stretching just to get them warmed up and we'll, we'll start the circuit train in a minute. All right, yeah, so I was just gonna run through some three upper body and three lower body stretches. So if you wanna do the first one, two arm stretches, you know, stretch your arm across your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And uh, switch, other one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, arm behind your head. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Sw switch. Hi, how are you today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now you can swing your arms clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, and then reverse backwards. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna to wanna to go lower body, take your right leg, stretch it backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull your right leg to your chest. One, two, it's hard to balance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, 10. Take your right leg. Can you give me a second one? All right, take your right leg, pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch to your left leg. And last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's all. Perfect, Sean. Excellent. We'll try and, uh, and for the athletes, I wonder if he could do that well on skates if he had to try and balance like that, Sean. What do you think? Um, so we're going to start with uh, the exercise. We'll do a jog in place. It also gets you warmed up a little bit as well. So we're going to jog in place. Um, the other thing I wanted to make sure everyone is aware of, like we did the last time, just make sure your ceiling's high enough because there's a few times that we'll be doing jumping squat jumps and stuff like that. So just watch, watch above you 
to make sure there's no low hanging sort of light fixtures or your ceiling's not too low if you're doing these jumps. So we'll start with uh, just 45 seconds of a jog in place. Try and put your knees up to your hands, like kind of waist level if you can, so really extend your legs. So go for a minute starting now. Good job, guys. Excellent. You can rest now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go from in a plank position. Sean can demonstrate. We're going to go from a high plank position to a low plank position. He'll show you alternate. You're basically in a push up position. And you go down to your elbows and then back up. So it's that simple. And you just do that. We're going to do that for 30 seconds because it's a pretty good exercise. See how everyone's doing with that, okay? So give it five more, five more seconds to rest. And then if you want to get into plank position, a push-up position like Sean's showing. And we're going to go high to low. Everyone ready? And begin. If it gets a little too hard, you can just hold the plank as well. Good job, Maddie. How's everyone doing? Good. And rest. And in between these exercises, if you want to take a sip of water, obviously anytime you need to, that's perfect. All right, so the next exercise we'll do while you're, if you, if Sean, Sean will show you, you can watch while you're resting for a second, recovering, they're called modified burpees. And that's when you stand, you're standing upright. You go down into a squat position, you kick your legs out, you do one push up, and you pull your legs back in and you stand up. Sean will demonstrate. And then you kick your legs out, do a quick push up, and then jump right back up. We'll do this for 30 seconds as well. And begin. Good job, guys. Good job, Dylan. That's it, Mark. And rest. I saw a uh, request for mountain climbers. So maybe we can do that next. If you guys want to do, we'll do uh, 30 mountain climbers. Sean, you can demonstrate that as well, but we won't do that time. We'll just do 30 mountain climbers. Let's push up position where you, you kick your legs, you bring your legs up like you're climbing up a hill. So rest for a second, guys. Give it, a, give it another second and then we can go into mountain climbers. And butt kicks, I see another request. We'll do that. We actually have that on the, uh, on the agenda. We'll do that at the end. So give it another five, five, five or 10 seconds rest and we'll do the um, mountain climbers. All right, you guys ready? Um, 
and right, um, rock climbers. Um, all right, I, we're gonna do um, thirty seconds of that. Oh, actually, we'll do thirty reps. All right, and begin. Um, I have, um, I requested doing doing jumping jacks too. Awesome. Well, Renzo, we'll definitely do jumping jacks. Thank you. You got it. I'm gonna go back on mute now. Okay. Cool. So when you get to 30 mountain climbers, you can rest or just give me thumbs up. That would be great. Good job, Dylan. Just using some music to make me exercise. Sounds good, Dylan. All right, guys, we're going to do modified jackknife crunches. So you're going to be laying on your back. Sean can demonstrate. And you're going to kick your, you're going to move your legs up and you're going to try and touch your, either your knees or your ankle, whichever more comfortable. So whatever you can get out of it, you can get out of it. Sean, you can demonstrate. They're called jackknives and you just, yep, exactly. This will work your lower body. It'll work your abs. It'll also work your legs and hips. So whenever you're ready, you can begin. We'll do 30 seconds of these jackknives and begin. You should definitely feel it in your lower stomach. Your abs will really feel it on this exercise. I'm not sure if that's Becky or Karen, but good job. Good job, ladies over there. That's it, Mark. Whatever you guys can get out of it, get out of it. You got to definitely um, independent individual exercise. You're looking good, guys. And you can rest. Good job, Dylan. All right, the next exercise we'll do is the squat jump. So again, you want to be careful that you're not too near a low ceiling. Christian, I'm not sure if it's a camera angle, but just it looks like that ceiling might be close to your head right there, buddy. So just, you just want to be careful, unless it it's is, the lighting. You don't have to unmute, but it is actually very lower, so we have. Gotcha. So yeah, you just like, want to be a little careful on that. It looked like it was a little yeah. low. I just didn't want you to jump yeah. into, into it, you know? Yeah, I don't want to hit myself my head and almost give myself a head concussion. Yeah, you don't, definitely don't want to do that. So just keep yeah. an eye, guys, for the ceiling if it's too low or any, like I said, lights hanging down. So Sean, you can demonstrate, uh, do a squat jump, and we'll do these for, you squat down and jump up. Squat down, jump up. If the ceiling is too low, guys, you can you don't have to jump. Just do a squat and then go into a standing position. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Five more seconds. And rest. Excellent. You guys look like you're in pretty good shape. Normally, by this time, I'm starting to get tired. Good stuff, Christian. All right, so the next exercise we'll do, you guys can stay resting while Sean will demonstrate, is a side plank. We're going to work the side of your, sort of your stomach muscle area. So we're going to do, we're going to alternate sides. So I'll let you know when to alternate. We're going to do, we'll try and do a minute. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. So Sean, you'll, you'll rotate to the side. You're on your elbow. Hopefully the ground is comfortable. The, whatever you're on, the ground or mat would be comfortable. And you're going to put your one arm, you can either extend it up like Sean's doing or put it on your hip or put it on your side. And then you're literally just leaning on one arm. So you're bouncing a little bit too. If you want to move your legs and spread them apart a little bit on the sides, 
it's a little bit of a balance. So you get in one position, Sean, to stay in that position, show them. Instead of two hands on the plank, you're just leaning into one side. So we'll try and do 25 to 30 seconds on each side. I'll tell you guys when to switch. All right, Sean, maybe just show them that position one more time. Start up in a plank and then lean on your elbow and roll to one side and then hold it. And you can raise your arm up. Perfect. And begin. And you want to hold it. It's, it's uh, good work for balance, too, a balance exercise. That's it, Mark. And switch sides. You can then switch to the other side and hold the plank. Good job, guys. Five more seconds on that other side. Perfect. And we're going to rest. So the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to do alternate leg lunges. Alternate leg lunges. So Sean can demonstrate. You're going to be standing straight up. And you're going to lunge forward. It's not really a jump. It's a lunge forward. You touch your knee, the opposite knee, lightly to the ground. Obviously, if it's a hard, a hard floor, just be a little careful. You don't bang your knee too hard, but you want to lunge forward and just alternate. Sean, go from that angle. Perfect, like that. Excellent. And then stand back up and then alternate the other leg. Perfect. So we'll do that for 30 seconds. Actually, we'll go 45 seconds on that. You guys are doing well. 45 seconds on the leg lunges. This would be a good lower body workout. Good job, Cassidy. Tip, Benjamin. Mark's doing well. Good job, Dylan. You should definitely feel it for the skiing. This is a great workout that you guys can do when you do the downhill skiing or even the uh, – the speed skating, it's a really, really good exercise to get that leg strength for you. And rest. Good job, guys. Good job on that. And now I know we had a request for jumping jacks. Now we're going to do some jumping jacks. Give it, give it a minute, not a minute. Give it like 20 seconds for a rest. But that is a really good exercise, especially for the winter sports that you guys are involved in. And everyone knows, obviously, how to do the jumping jacks, right, Sean? If you want to demonstrate it, you guys all know, right? Perfect, yeah. It's a good exercise. Again, you just want to make sure your ceiling's not too low when you're throwing your hands up. I've done that, and I've hit my hand a few times on our ceiling in the basin where Sean is. We'll do jumping jacks for a minute. How's that sound? Perfect. Begin, guys. Excellent. You guys are all looking great. Great job. Ten more seconds.
and rest. Great job, guys. So while we're standing up, we're going to do another lower body exercise, and then we're going to get you on the floor to do some more core work and sort of some back stretches and back uh, extensions. So we'll do one more set of leg, lower leg, lower body stuff. And uh, then we'll get down to some crunches, some more core stuff and um, back extensions. And we'll also do some push-ups and upper body to finish the session off. But the next thing we're gonna do is hide-ins. So this is a really good exercise for the speed skaters in the group, also the skiers. So, so hide-ins are kind of like the leg lunges but you're going side to side like you're skating, how you're skating, pushing off. So, Sean, that's it. You want to touch, use your opposite hand to touch your opposite toe when you do these hide-ins. And you kind of leap side to side. It's also a great exercise for balance. We do a lot of these um, for hockey training in the off-season for the Rampo hockey team as well. Really good workout. If you guys, once you guys get outside, you can do this on your yard. You can walk around, you know, driveway. And you can definitely move. It's a good exercise. So we'll do, we'll do, let's say 45 seconds of hide-ins. Beginning now. Side to side, try and get a little lower if you can. And you can either touch your knee if you can reach, or you can touch even lower your foot, your opposite foot with your opposite hand. For those of my speed skaters in the group, you'll definitely know that this stride is very similar to how you speed skate. You're pushing off, and that's how you get your speed and power. Great job on this, guys. And rest. Excellent. So now we're going to work on the floor a little bit. We're going to lay on our backs first, and we're going to do leg raises. It's another sort of core exercise. And then we're going to do some crunches. So leg raises are just lay on your back and keep your feet together and raise them, call it six or seven inches off the ground. Hold for a second and then lower your legs. And again, we'll do this exercise for 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So it's not about the amount of times you raise your legs. You just want to be steady. You raise them for about seven or eight inches above the ground or even a little higher if you want. And then you lower them and you can rest in a couple seconds up, a couple seconds down. We'll do that for 45 seconds. And you can begin now. Good job, guys. A couple seconds up, and you can rest them on the ground, and a couple seconds up. Good job. You should really feel this in your core area, lower, lower stomach again. These are kind of similar to the jackknives that we did, but you're really not raising your legs as high. You kind of want to keep your legs a little bit lower. And rest. Listen, you guys have been working great. Do you want to get a quick drink of water? If you want to take a minute break and get a quick drink of water. Great job, guys. All right, next we're gonna do crunches. So we're gonna lay on our backs again and you can bend your knees up. So have your knees and your feet on the floor, obviously, but bend your knees and we're gonna do crunches. So it's kind of like a sit-up position, but instead of doing a full sit-up, you wanna put your, whatever's comfortable, your hands behind your head. You don't have to raise your legs, John. Actually put your feet on the ground there, buddy. Bend your knees and just put your feet on the ground and just do a crunch. You wanna only go, yeah, exactly. You don't have to do a full sit-up. If you can do a sit-up, great. But you don't have to do a full sit-up. You want to really just focus on those stomach muscles and you want to raise up maybe seven or eight inches, hold, and then raise down. You want to go nice and slow, really controlled on this. And you should really feel it, again, in your core area. We'll do 
30 to 40 seconds on this. And begin. Good job, Kimmy. And rest. All right, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to work out our lower back a little bit. It's also a stretch. It's a very, it's a good stretch. So you're going to now um for the next exercise get some water obviously definitely get some water if you guys want you guys are working really hard get some more water if you'd like and what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called supermans so we're going to lay we're going to lay on our stomach and we're going to extend our arms straight forward like we're flying with our feet on the ground to start and our arms like kind of right in front of us and then same thing on your own at your own pace we'll do this for about 30 to 40 seconds you want to raise your arms up just a little bit and raise your feet up just a little bit. So you really feel the stretch and you'll feel your lower back and middle back working. You want to hold it for two seconds and then you rest, meaning put your arms down and your feet down. Raise them up for two seconds, hold, and then put them down again. But you raise both your feet and your arms a few inches off the ground. You really feel this. It's a very good back stretch and back extension exercise. So if you're ready, you guys, you guys can begin for 30 seconds. Good job, guys. You can also do it if you just want to raise your upper body and alternate upper body and then lower body. Or you can do it both at once, whatever's more comfortable. But when you do a lot of core exercise, you got to remember to work out both sides. So you definitely need to continue, you know, to remember to work out your, your lower back and stabilizing muscles of the back as well. Hey, Coach. Coach Mackler, how you doing? I wish I was doing as good as you. <laughs> good. All right, guys, you can rest now. How'd that feel? It's good. It's good. That's a good back stretch, right? So now we're going to do, we're going to stand up, and someone had requested uh, the butt kicks. So we're going to do some butt kicks right now. Um, you want to get a quick glass of water another glass of water as long as everyone's good we're going to now go back to a standing position and we're going to jog in place kind of like how we started but we're going to kick ourselves in the butt right the old butt kick so instead of like in the beginning when we started with the jog where we were raising our knees up we're going to actually kick back like sean's doing and we'll do that for a we'll do that for a minute guys how's that sound looks like you guys have all started so begin now Guys are working very hard. Like to see it. Yeah, coach, they're doing great. They're making me tired just watching them. Hi, uh, I have to uh, drop the call, so I'll be here tomorrow. No problem. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, great work. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. All right, see you. I don't know where the cover is. Excellent, guys. Excellent. All right, you can rest now. So here's what we're going to do. Now I know that um, Amelia and Sam had asked you guys to bring a ball if you have one. Or... 
Um, and if you have a, the books nearby, but we'll do one, we'll do one. Um, we'll use the books. Actually, we'll use the ball first. We're going to get into a plank position. I'll let Sean show you, but just give it a second before you guys start. So what we're going to do is in a plank position, in the push-up position, you're going to have a ball in one hand and you're going to throw the ball up lightly and you're going to try and catch it in the other hand. If you can do it with balance, fantastic. If you can't, you can also let the ball bounce once and pick it up with the other hand. And if that is a little bit tricky because this is a really challenging exercise, then you can just roll it between your hands while you're in the plank position. So if you have a wiffle ball or a tennis ball, um, you know, even as, as big as even a volleyball would probably be the biggest that you would want to use. But if you can throw the ball in the air and catch it with the other hand while you're in a plank, great. If you want to let it bounce, pick it up, great. If you just want to roll it between your hands, same thing. It works either way. So you're just going to be in a plank position, and you're kind of juggling the ball in the plank position. So you can do it either on your elbows if you want to roll it, perfect. Or if you're in a push-up position, you can throw it in the air and try and catch it. This will do. This will work your balance, and it'll also activate some of the other muscles as you stabilize. <laughs> when you're throwing the ball back and forth between your hands. So it's a very good core exercise. Sean, are you there? Did you show, did you demonstrate real quick? Okay, excellent. All right, guys, we'll do, we'll try and do this for about 35, 40 seconds, and then we'll go into the upper body and that'll be our, that'll be our workout. So whenever you're ready with the ball, begin. It's a tough one. Good job, guys. All right, you can rest now. All right, so the final things we'll do, we'll do some upper body work, okay? If you remember the last time when I jumped on, after Coach Macklear put you through some of the circuit training, we did that where we held uh, a light book in your hands if you have one. And you remember we did the iron cross where we were holding the ball or the book out. If you have a weight, that's great too. But if it's too heavy, it's going to be really challenging to do it, right? So. The iron cross is when your, your arms are extended out. If you have a light book, even if you have, I even mentioned maybe some hockey pucks. If you have anything that's around, you know, half a pound or a pound for each arm, that's great. You can even use the ball you're using, just something to hold on to. So it's going to be a static arm exercise. This is called the iron cross. This is called reach for the stars. And this will be called, we'll call this, uh, I don't know, we'll call this the zombie. How does that sound? Sounds so these good. are the moves. We, we'll call it out while we're holding it. So we'll go the Iron Cross, we'll go the Zombie, and we'll go Reach for the Stars. And as you can see, Sean is holding a book and demonstrating. So we'll try and do this for, we'll try and do this exercise for a minute. So the big key is if you want to just make sure you keep your arms at shoulder height and straight out. Try not to bend your arms too much. Okay, and you really start feeling it in your shoulders and arms. So we'll actually try and do a minute and a half on this. Right. If you have if you have really heavy weights, you can always set them down and just go with your hands. So if you want to start with the weight, great. But if it's too heavy, you can always put them down. All right. So we'll start. We'll wait till the thing gets up there. We'll start right now. So we're going to start with the iron cross, holding it straight out. Good job, guys. Hold it straight out. Keep holding it. Keep holding it if you can. Now we're going to go forward into the zombie position. Good job. Hold that. You got 20 seconds, guys. Good job. Back out to the Iron Cross. Right? You also feel a stretch there. You should feel it in your shoulders. I'm not even going to have weights, and I'm feeling it right now. Some of these guys yeah. using weights are really, really doing a great job. Definitely. Reach for the stars. It'll give your arms a little bit of a break. You'll feel the blood coming out. Like, it'll feel a nice little break in your shoulders. And we'll go back down to the Iron Cross. We'll hold that. 
Good job. You've almost held for a minute, guys. Good job. We'll move the arms forward. And hold that position. Remember to keep your arms straight, right at shoulder height. Excellent. Move the arms back out. Hold that position if you can. You're almost there, about 15 more seconds. Go right up to the top, reach for the stars. Excellent. Back down into the Iron Cross. Hold that Iron Cross for about 10 more seconds. And rest. How are you guys feeling after that? Good. Thumbs up. Excellent. Now, I wasn't even holding weights, and you know where I'm feeling it, which you guys probably do? Right in my shoulders. Shoulders and kind of my upper arm there, I'm feeling it. And I wasn't even holding weights. So this is all another great exercise that you can do for a couple minutes just to work your shoulders and arms as you hold them out. So we'll do, um, we'll do one more set of that. And then we'll finish with some push-ups. How does that sound? Excellent. See so, lots you know, of thumbs shake, up, coach. Shake your arms out, guys. Maybe do like, like what Sean showed you in the beginning. Give yourself a little rotation. Shake them out. Now, if you were holding weights, I'll, we'll try and let's see if we can try and get two minutes on this next one. So if you can hold it for two minutes, maybe try and do it without the weights. If you have a really light book, keep the book. Or if you have, let's say, a hockey puck or something like about a half a pound, try that. But if you have heavy weights, just be a little careful because we're going to try and go for two minutes and see if we can do two minutes. You guys up for that? Awesome. Yeah, I like that. All right, two minutes. This will be a good one. I see you, Stefan, working really hard there. Keep it up, bud. Now I got to see if I can hold for two minutes. I'm not even holding weights. I'll, 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 I'll do it with you, and we'll see if I can even do it for two minutes. Okay. All right, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go in about five seconds. All right, you ready? Yep, Two I'm minutes ready. starting now. We'll go out with the iron cross first. Excellent. Hold that iron cross. Reach forward. Move them forward together. Keeping those arms straight. Right in front of you. That's it. Good job, Christian. I like it. Are those water bottles? This might be heavy. Good job. Dylan's got water bottles, too. Yeah, it's impressive. If he gets tired, he can just drink the water and the bottles will get lighter, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, switch out back to the Iron Cross. <laughs> Great job. Way to go, Dylan. What are you doing? All right, we're going to go straight up over our heads. Reach for the stars. Give you a little stretch. Does he still drink the water out of this thing? Back down to the Iron Cross. Hold him straight out. Excellent. Straight forward, we'll do the zombie there. Good job. We're almost, uh, we're about through a minute right now. So we got halfway to go. Back out to the Iron Cross. Sure you guys are feeling in your shoulders, especially you guys holding those water bottles and books. I see a pillow being held up there. Any sort of weight helps. It can be any object. I'm gonna go up to the reach to the stars. Fantastic, guys. Back down to the Iron Cross. Gonna move it forward. Everyone's looking great. Back out to the Iron Cross, 15 seconds, and you guys did two minutes. This is fantastic. Way to go, Jane. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. Man, I got a good work out there. Good job, guys. Way to go. So the last thing we're going to do, we'll, get, we'll let you rest for a minute there. You can shake your arms out, right? Shake them out. Shake them out. Roll your shoulders a little. Roll your shoulders. I'm feeling my shoulders. I know that much. Good job. All right, the last exercise we'll do, we'll do some push-ups, okay? Whatever you're most comfortable with, a regular, regular push-up, you can use a push-up from your knees. Whatever you guys are used to doing push-ups, but we're going to do it on, uh, on my count. So I'm going to say down. 
and you hold the down position and I'll say up and I'll count one down, hold the down position. I'll say up and that's two. Okay. Does anyone want to tell me a number, how many they want to do to finish? 10, yeah. I see 10, I see a five, eight. I think that was an eight. Christian saying 10. 10, another 10. Oh, I see a 20 in the chat. A 20, whoa, 22. 22. Oh my goodness. Lots of 10s. There's a 30. 30. Someone said five. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll do, actually we can do two sets of this. So why don't we go with a 10 to start and then we'll finish with maybe a 15, somewhere around that. So we'll get 25 out of it, but we'll do two sets. Does that sound good? Yeah. Awesome, guys. All right, so your arms will feel it from doing the arm hold like that, all right? I know your shoulders will feel it. So I'll move it fairly quick on these push-ups, all right? So everyone in the push-up position. So we're going to go down, one, up. Good job. Down, up, two, down. Up, three, good job, guys. Down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, excellent. Down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, that's nine. Great job, down, and back up. 10. Awesome. Really good job. Good form, guys. Take a rest. Shake your arms out. We'll do one more set of 15, and that is a great workout you guys have done today. Grab a sip of water if you want. And we'll do one more. I think that that's perfect time. We'll do a light stretch at the end, and uh, you guys have done fantastic tonight. I'm impressed. Definitely. Hi, Robert, can you just join? I like all the high numbers for the push-ups. That's great. Even that 30 was a big number. Christian thinks we can do 100. What do you think, Christian? I don't know about 100. 100 is nah. a lot. 100 is a lot. I don't know if I, I don't think I could do 100. No way. Um, all right, guys, you ready? Final, final set. Final set here on my count again. How's that sound? You guys are impressive. All right, you ready? Push up position. Down. Up. That's one. Down. Up. That's two. Down. Up. That's three. Down. Up. That's four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. That's six. <laughs> Down. Up, that's seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, great, down, up, that's 10, five more, down, up, 11, down, up, 12, excellent, down, up, 13, two more, down, up, 14, final one, down, up, yeah. 15, excellent, guys. Give yourselves a hand on that one. You guys enjoy That's that? Fantastic. That's fantastic. Why don't hey, we do Sean, you rock those guys. exercise moves. I must take a picture of you to join my photo of you and Michael. I mean, Michael got a picture, so why not you? You don't mind that, do you, Sean? Hey, Sean, you there, buddy? Yeah, I'm sorry. My mic was cutting out. Could you say that again? Sorry. He was going to take a picture. Oh, of course. You got to get in the screen, buddy. Do, why, don't you do, why don't you lead the stretching? Just do some upper body stretching since we finished on that. So we'll do the same stretching. We'll lead in the stretch, okay? Same stretching again, like the first time? Just, just the upper body. Yeah, the upper body, maybe lower body. Shake it out. You can do one, one of each. That's fine. All right. Sounds good. All right. You guys want to get ready? I'm gonna go in like five minutes, not five minutes, five seconds, my bad. <laughs> um, all right, so stretch your arm across your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left arm, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg, pull it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then that's all. You can shake your arms out, do the circle, stretch if you want, and then that's all. So excellent. Good job, guys. Excellent, guys. Listen, all, all the best with, with the rest of your season and winter sports. We really missed you guys this year. Um, we can't wait to hopefully get back to see you guys at Skylands next year. Best of luck with all your activities and everything going forward. I know that we'll be in touch with Sam and Amelia. And uh, it was excellent. And thank you very much for allowing us to uh, be part of your workouts. This was fantastic, guys. All the best. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sean. And thank you, Mike. You're welcome. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and mute everyone. Thank you. So I can give you all today's Total Body Challenge code word, which is BALL, B-A-L-L. -L, and I'll type that in the chat. Thank you again, guys. Sean, thank you for the great demo. And Mike and Mike, thanks for being on the call. We really appreciate you guys coming on, and we hope to be with you guys next year. Thank you. Good job, Sean. Good what do you think of the picture? Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.